Ah, look at the beautiful blue pea flower tea. The magical colour shifting drink that has popped up in many cafes. What if we could make watercolour with the blue pea flower? Well, someone actually made it. Wild Dot makes watercolour paints from natural pigments derived from plants and urban waste in Singapore. They also host art with nature experiences for people of all ages. The blue pea flower paint is on sale in their online store. I had the chance to visit the people behind Wild Dot at their workshop and garden, and I asked them a few questions about their special plant-based watercolours. So this is uh, where the magic happens. Wow, look at all the colours. Meet the two girls who are behind all this, Liz and Shireen. Hey, I'm Shireen from Wild Dot. Yeah. Hey, hi, so what do you do at Wild Dot? Okay, so um, what we do at Wild Dot is that we make paints out of natural pigments and we also do nature education. Why, why do you want to make your own paint? Uh, we want to make our own paint because we feel it's a good way to connect with our plants. Mm -hmm. um, like Because what we do is that we do the harvesting and then after that we dry the plant, we process the plant. So you sort of feel the whole process maybe from farm to pain <laughs> sort of effect yeah so it, it helps us to feel closer to the plant and it also helps us to like share that with other people like the knowledge we sort of learn from all these plants la. let's see uh, where, where do you actually get your materials from how do you know which plant is usable yeah some of it we acquire from friends some of it we grow in our own garden and then uh, you know we just uh, slowly harvest it and then we try it and then if we think it's viable then maybe we just collect try it. we just keep testing basically Let's check out their rooftop garden where they grow the plants that are then harvested and made into paint. Is this your garden? Is that a garden? What's that? <laughs> you can have a wheat. You know the colour range is wheat. Wheat is this one. <laughs> you can get another green. <laughs> Hey, maybe you will grow something special out of it, yeah, you never know. Yeah. Whoa! It's a yellow colour. That's a yellow cosmos flower. That's so pretty! We also use this for our ink making. Wow. Uh, we are hopefully, we can release one of it for one of the months. Wow, nice! Yeah. Can hopefully. I reserve? <laughs> can! That's really can, good! Can. What's this? This is Roselle. This, you use this to make tea. It makes a very nice, refreshing herbal tea. It's like the Rabina plant also. Oh, but yeah. not like the plant that is used to make Rabina, but it tastes like a lot like Rabina. Yeah, well, is it like the um, Luo Shen Hua, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah. it's the Chinese name. Yeah, nice, Luo Shen nice, Hua. Nice. Yeah. That one is like a bit sourish. Yes. Yeah. And then yes. the colour is like super red. One, yeah, right? red. So we also try to get inks out of this. <laughs> Where's the mango plant? This, this one? is the mango tree. The red ones are actually the newer ones. You can oh. feel it's very yeah, yeah, it's soft. soft. Yeah, versus oh, the like, texture is, is like waxy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So which one do you use to make um, the, pig, the pigments? The green leaves. The green yeah. leaves. The the ones. And we just cut from the bottom. I see. Mm. So it will be like a yellowish green, like a green gold yeah. kind of colour? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this your butterfly pea? Yes, this is the blue pea. I just recently harvested so yeah, yeah. yeah, this one like, eh, how come it's not? Got one here. Yeah. Huh? There, here and there, one here. And there. Oh, yeah, yeah, she harvested. Yeah. She harvested uh, so many of it. Uh, the ones that we harvested from the garden, then we just use that to make more things. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these are all the things that you have harvested? Oh yeah, yeah these are all uh, like different kinds of uh, stuff. Oh. Then, uh, where, where, do you, where do you learn how to make things? Um, I think we learn how to make pain through trial and error. So it's not like you know something that we sure you can you can like Google it off the internet. There's yeah. a there's a lot of recipes online. Like um, it's more of a matter of like you keep testing things and trying to find that consistency both you and other artists can enjoy. Does it work all the time? Or like or sometimes you just have to tweak it. I mean, sometimes you have to tweak it. Like, uh, I think one thing about ink making is like we have to observe our inks a lot because, like, for example, boiling down inks, like um, when you boil down different consistency, the color changes as well. Like, you know, something more concentrated yeah. versus something yeah. more watery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also <laughs> when it's like you know really close to the bottom, you need to watch it because it will suddenly just like burn. Oh. Yeah, so there's all these like little things, um, little processes you have to be quite aware of when you're making. It. Uh, inks okay. and paint, yeah. So we bought like an Ansana ink just this morning oh. and this was mahogany, this oh. was the uh, wood chips. Oh, this is mahogany? Mahogany wood chips. 
Uh, so we work with some local carpenters to get mm. their wood shavings mm. and then afterwards we use it to make our inks as well. Okay, so this is the first step, is it? The mm. boiling? Yeah. And then the you just con you, you condense it? Yes, into oh. like an ink. Oh, okay. So um, then afterwards from the ink then we can make yeah. it into our watercolour. This is from mango leaves actually. Oh. This is the mango leaves lake pigment. Oh, so nice. lake pigments would be a different process. Mm -hmm. uh, so you see up here? Yes. Yeah, these are the mango lake pigments. Oh. Yeah, so from here, then mm. we grind, 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 and then mm. we'll mix it with uh, the binders and all that, and then we'll mull it here, mm. and then we'll get yeah, a lot of test. And this will be like the last step where. Yeah, so we are drying, uh, we are drying this to okay. assembling first. And yeah, then after that, you then you will dry it to. Oh wow! Awesome. Any particular color that's very difficult to get, like with, with this process? <laughs> Greener. Greener. Green. Green is green is difficult. Like aside from like having your pandan or like, yeah, it's like you have your color now and then you're like, what if I want to use it later? It's like no way. <laughs> you just like disappear, yeah. Uh I mean because green is technically chlorophyll and oh, chlorophyll right. is living color. Right. So right. It, exactly. It was just uh, usually when we have that green it will just turn into yellow. Mm. Yeah. So awesome. how is different is your paint from what we can buy in the so I think the difference with our paints is that uh, we feel that working with ink specifically lets us uh, showcase the different diversity like to show that the paint is kind of alive like when you add an alkali the color changes when you mm -hmm. add an acid the mm -hmm. color changes yeah 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 yeah. That's fun part. yeah so I mean of course for those who enjoy that sort of experimentation mm -hmm. no process that's mm -hmm. fun for them but I mean but for those who are on the more professional side of things, they need that consistency yeah. and it's like for clients and then maybe perhaps um, <laughs> it's better to stay with your commercial yeah. paints. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just that because you need the work to be archival, yeah. you have to make it last forever, yeah, yeah. Um, which is totally understandable. But yeah. maybe perhaps for those who enjoy practicing or just practicing where you just like go paper to paper to paper, that kind of thing, you don't really think about keeping it for long. This is something that you know won't like last forever, it's fine to you, like you really have that Fun, you know that exactly. it's actually a process, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So how long can your paints last? Okay, so uh, our palettes can last for, so far we kept one more than six months, it's still mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, what can occasionally happen, because Singapore, yeah, because Singapore is very like humid, um, more may grow on top, but it's not unusable, you can still wipe it away and you can still use it, yeah. Okay, but if it's on a paint, uh, on a, a painted already, like maybe some colors might fade off. Like, yeah. um, I mean, the colors will generally last you at least like two, three months. Uh, as far as I know, if you play with the the acid and alkali, mm -hmm. like um, what we realize is that citric acid, even though the color is very vibrant from the start, it fades off much faster than the um, baking soda, ah. the alkali. Yeah, so it might be very pink at first, but yeah. you'll just like wipe off us oh. very, very fast. Yeah. <laughs> it was an afternoon well spent as I learned a lot about all the different plants and how to make paints from them. They currently have three colours in the store, mahogany, angsana and blue pea. I bought a pan of deep blue pea watercolour. Let's explore the colour in the studio. The name of this paint is actually deep blue pea. The colour is intriguing. It resembles indigo or bluish grey colour. It is transparent and non-granulating. They have described the colour as having medium light fastness, but I haven't tested the colour long enough, so I can't comment on that. This paint has a clove scent, which I learned from Liz uh, was what they use as natural preservatives. The most interesting property of this colour is its interaction with solutions of different pH. It turns pink when acidic, and when you use an alkali, like sodium bicarbonate, it gives you a yellowish green. The colours didn't stay brilliant for too long, um, but you know, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> all in all, it's a fun colour to play with. And if you have kids, you can introduce them the concept of pH while they play with this magical colour shifting paint. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Click on the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more such videos. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!